Okay, so we're back with another thing I did, which were these berry rings. These do have a stone center. It's glued down in there. It's, yeah, quite nice. There we go. There's the other side of it. it there's the pair. It is pretty shiny. I managed to get these uh, centers from a place called Thunderbird Supply. So here's the actual. Sarfet. The actual stones. I bought them in pairs so they're matching. They're taped in the back. This one I did like because it does have a lot of contrast to it. Very different. More of a compressed kind of turquoise. So it does go through the back. You see, all on the side, it is actual stone. <laughs> So the one I got as a pair, I think it was like $30, $40 a pair. They sell them by the carrot. Uh, and the place I got them was called Thunderbird Supply Company in New Mexico. So that's their website, Thunderbird Supply. Here's thunderbirdsupply.com. And do sell a lot of stuff. So here's a section called Stones. And do, I just got a B ball. They have a variety of stones. So here's their cabs. They have different kind of cabs inlaid. Cabs by weight. Same by my weight. And whatnot. But I am what was I looking for? Cabs polish. I know beats. Freeform lapis rough turquoise. Cabs freeform. So, yep. So you can go through here and you can find a lot of different cabs and they do sell them by, um, what do you call them? By the carrot price. And I don't know the carrot price of these, so some of them get pretty expensive. Like I said, mine was like $30, $40 a pair for the carrot price. And yeah, I bought uh, three pairs, which, that's one of the pairs I use in there. And this is another pair I got. There. Yeah, my light's not really doing a good job on it. There. This one's more mirrored, finished, or symmetrical, finished both sides. But I got those. As well as these, uh, what's it called? Cabochon. No, concho. Concho buttons are called. These have the, thr the threaded backs, so they screw on. But I'm using them to make centers. The reason why I got the threaded back is because it's easier to... Let me kind of... <laughs> I'm really on the purpose. Let me just kind of show you. Excuse the sound. I come on a little space out. But they're not flat backs. They actually are domed. They're shaped. They're nickel, silver. So it does have a little thread in, so you can make a little hole in the back and thread them in. But since it's flat, I can put it onto pellon and glue it down. It's gonna take a lot more glue than I'm normally used to, but as you can see, it's on there. And I can beat around it, use my circle graph template, cut the center out like so, and I'll try to turn this around like so, and place it on there so it gives my gives it some on my points so I can beat it more exact. And that's what I did. Same place. Uh, I did get it from Thunderbird Supply. I went mean, here and I looked up, uh, went to the search, look up conchos. And it brought up conchos, different variety. Like okay, there's some that are, that piece of metal loop in the back so then can be threaded through. 
And then there's some, oh shucks, one, two, four. That's actually making stamps. Come on, right here. Where it does say, uh, screw. So there's one of the conchos they do, and there's a screw center, and this is 25 millimeter, about an inch, and there's odd shaped versions of them. I'll leave a link in the bottom below, and here's the one I got which these are huge, like one inch. I went for a smaller one just to give me a more compact look. It might be to work, but you can go bigger. These ones are with loops here, as you can see, screws, loop. So be wary of that loop screw. And yeah, they do have a variety of different versions of it here, which the prices are not too bad. If you look at it, let me, a dollar or some of that. But then you guys see, make sure they're in stock. But yeah, they do have different stones here as well. Like I said, different caps. Coral, triple, turquoise, lapis, uh, malachite, mother of pearl. Just basically what you're looking for. I mean, this is back home where I get stuff and I can make stuff like this. This is glued down in the back. Like I said, it's flat, it's rough in the back. Just apply enough glue on it. If it does feel waxy, just Take a little sandpaper, um, like two, 200, 200 grit, 220 grit. Just something can dwarf it up. Make sure you clean it. Make sure there's no dust particles in it. That's the main thing because you don't want it to unstick. But yeah, it does make a nice piece for it. I got those left. I got those left. And if you do look hard enough or if you do call them, you can ask them to see what their inlay looks like. I saw this piece and like, I need that. Let me put this down fast. I saw it, I was like, I need that for reasons. As you can see, there's opal kind of in, in there. It is striped with uh, silver. It is stable, so it won't crack on your chip. But yeah, these are for another special piece I'll be making later on. But yeah, there are a few uh, things I got as well to make earrings. So hopefully that does help. I mean, you guys do have a lot of questions. I am going to be answering some questions about the grad cap because you guys will be asking about that. As well as the lanyards or wristlets. I'll be answering those questions because I got to make a pair, make a lanyard soon. So. I'll be answering those questions, so yeah. Thunderbird Supply, check them out. Hopefully there's a link below for it. And thank you guys for watching. Hopefully that answered some questions you guys may have about some supplies and where I get them from. All right, bye.